Hey everyone, welcome back to Metanoia. My name is Carrie Jane. And in today's video, I want to discuss topics of information and knowledge. Uh, I want to basically examine the definition of these words. I want to talk about how we're using these words in our kind of mass predicament of the thing that is the internet specifically. Um, although this might occur in isolated places outside the internet as well, but mostly this is all coming from the internet. I want to have a discussion on why this is important to know. Uh, the difference between information and knowledge and just kind of like get the wheels turning with with what I have to convey with what's going on in the world right now. My channel is very difficult sometimes because it's just about consciousness and so that's a very broad topic and I understand if you're just here for the numerology videos or you're just here for whatever, you know, whether it be my, my deck videos or my, you know, stuff on crystals, etc. I understand if you're just here for that, but here at Metanoia we're going to be talking about a lot of different kinds of things and I really very much want to use this platform as a means to uh, kind of be able to bring up current events, what's happening in the world right now. It's very easy to be led astray right now. It's very easy to genuinely want to uh, explore consciousness and grow from it. And unfortunately, now that this is trendy, as I talked about in my commodification of spirituality video, now that this is all trendy, it is uh, kind of turning into a monster, all of this stuff. And it's... It's our politics, there, you know, there's things that are politics now that should have never been politics, like our food and our water and our air. Uh, and it's scary times that we're living in, living in and I, I want to open a dialogue, and I know a lot of people are not going to watch this video, but I urge you to watch it um, and, you know, open up about your experiences and what you've been going through. Uh, and even vents about, you know, what you've encountered online or even between people when you leave your house and kind of just the unfortunate horrors <laughs> of, like, ethical dilemmas that we are kind of encountering when we interact with people now in 2019. So let's start off with uh, developing a de definition for information and knowledge. Uh, which also actually inadvertently, in my part, uh, brings us to a conversation on what's fact. Like the definition of the word fact, what should be considered or called a fact, etc. Uh, and if you look up the definition of information and knowledge online, you get a lot of conflicting stuff. And I think that's just because of how things have changed, you know, the the Merriam-Webster dictionary, all the dictionaries of the world, they kind of get updated based on, you know, what, what's happening socially. Uh, and so even though, <laughs> even though a word used to have uh, a very particular meaning, it can get a little bit more convoluted. And that's why is because we start using it for different things and using it in different ways. And so when you look up the definitions of the word information and knowledge, they're unfortunately used interchangeably. Uh, the, like, for example, I think I looked up information and it said something like knowledge obtained for so-and-so or whatever. And, you know, there's always a few different takes on it within every definition. So that's what I encountered. And I'm actually going to leave a link in the description of... A very helpful, I don't know if it was like a website or just a blog post, I'm not exactly certain, uh, but it was like an informational web page about actually the what is the difference between information and knowledge, because there are, and there is a subtle def uh, difference between the two, and I think that this is important in explaining the logic and 
this this conversation that we're about to have. So let's get to it. Um, information. I have a very simple definition for the word information, and that is facts obtained. Now, knowledge. Knowledge is something different than that. Knowledge, I wrote down, is based on this website, I wrote down is uh, relevant and objective information gained through experience. Knowledge is basically what happens when you've obtained enough objective information, you've obtained enough facts to allow a synthesis to occur. And this is not what's happening in America. This is not what's happening in the world right now. People are receiving things that are not even information, and then they're calling that information, and then right off the bat they're saying they know things. And not, that's not how that works. Uh, that is not a synthesis that occurred, so you don't know anything. And also, how can facts be facts in the world that we have today when it comes to things like politics when it comes to extremely important issues like climate change which we've had to call it that because when people were getting confused about global warming because they couldn't fucking understand why we still had winters and why it was still cold out sometimes so I digress. <laughs> I digress. A fact I wrote down is a thing proven to be true. And in, with a star, consistent with objective reality. Are people's realities able to be objective and consistent with the visible reality that is actually happening when we have something like the internet. I am asking you that question. I'm asking a very honest question. I want you to like think about that and like just give me an answer or just, you know, answer it for yourself. Uh, the answer for me is no, it absolutely cannot. Uh, facts need to be obtained through tests. And this could be a like complex test like, you know, performing a study, or it could be like, wow, my cup repeatedly falls to the ground when I drop it, I've noticed, so something's going on there for sure. It just, it happens every single time, no matter what. So that's, uh, yeah, at that point, <laughs> we can't say gravity is a thing. It's an actual thing. Uh, it's, we can actually call that information uh, and eventually uh, get to a point where we have obtained it as common knowledge. This may to you kind of sound like a silly conversation to have. It might be obvious to you. Uh, it might not seem relevant, whatever. But the truth of the matter is that what seems like basic knowledge is not anymore. People are just calling whatever they want to be facts, facts. And this is extremely dangerous. And that should be for obvious reasons. This is doing many different things to us. First of all, it's dividing us, as we all know. And this is why I, I have always not participated in what I call identity tribalism and it, th that what it what it sounds like is what it is it's like when you have a belief on anything you for whatever reason incorporate that into your identity as who you are and then as the dumb fucking monkey that we all are right now use that in a tribal manner to to fight one another and i refuse to participate in that bullshit i'm calling you all out on your bullshit i get angry and i get what seems to be tribal mentality when people attack me first of all because when you, you when you're sensitive 
and you live in this world that doesn't give a fuck about anything, you have to develop teeth. So that's one reason. But also, when your non-objective reality threatens literally our survival, not okay. Unacceptable. I don't know what to say and I don't know what to do about these people. I don't know what to do about you. I I think all that I can do and all we can do is understand what's happening while it's happening and that's it. Question everything. Question everything that we see and never ever say that we know something without actually performing a synthesis. Your information is not information unless you've left your house, you've stopped finger fucking your phone, you've left your computer, you left your house and you're interacted with real human beings from many different angles. You got a sense of what actually is happening. You've been educated. You went to school. It takes a mixture of things. You know, education alone is not enough. You absolutely need to be educated. You need to, like, take actual classes and, you know, be involved in actual studies to say, like, (laughs) that you know something. And then on top of that, it's not just the study that's performed. It's like you travel to another country and you you uh, experienced another frame of mind and then so there's like a social aspect to it well it's not just all you know a, a book in your face or academics it's like actually socializing with people from like outside the internet so i feel like i've conveyed all that i have to convey on this for now maybe there will be more later but the 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 reason why I, I'm making this video is because times are crazy. People are crazy online right now. It's not getting better, it's getting worse. And quite frankly, this issue can kill us all. And that's why this video needs to be made, and this is why you need to watch it just to kind of like have this in your brain when you're going throughout life and this video is probably especially for the people who are just kind of appalled (laughs) and are having the hardest time coping with what's going on right now because it's so crazy you know i see you i'm going through the same thing This, we're all going through this, you know, it's just crazy, crazy times and we, we kind of have to think about these things so that we know what's happening while it's happening and before we decide to actually engage in a conversation or decide that we believe something or anything at all to just have these things what I said today considered and that's all I'm asking so thank you for watching this video I tried to not get too angry although I have been extremely disturbed and frustrated lately Uh, today I'm a little bit more tired than usual I did not get much sleep in fact I'm sitting here with a fall blanket because I'm exhausted and tired and cold, so probably for the better (laughs) that I had a little bit of a low energy so that I don't come on too, too strong, although I think I made it clear about the the seriousness of, of this issue from my point of view. So yeah, again, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, I hope to be making a couple more videos that are um, uh, kind of just fun and or vlog. I just got a deck that I really like, so that's going to be something a lot more relaxed. So stay tuned for those videos if this was a little too much for you. <laughs> I hope you're all doing well. 
and uh, take care, everyone.